Hey everyone, welcome to the Anime Kingdom discussion and review. This one is on episode 7 of Rakudai Kishi no Calvary. And this this episode honestly was really good. Like the whole just the music was good, the action was good, the story was good, just the total feeling of the whole the whole episode, the atmosphere of it was awesome. Like from the beginning, we got this kind of like, well, what is she going to do? You know, all um all of a sudden she jumps off Ayase jumps off like destroys the fence behind her jumps off thing and you're like oh crap what she gonna commit suicide you know Iki saves her all of a sudden we find out she did that on purpose because she knew he would use his special you know his ace in the hole power and then all of a sudden you know she will do anything whatever it takes even if it you know who cares about pride and all that stuff even though her father specifically said you know Never lose your way. Always have a fair kind of fight. You know, keep your pride, all that kind of stuff. She just threw it all away. But, you know, it's you can't blame her for it. It's like they said, when you're put into a corner like that, push to the very edge. You Sometimes you just do things you don't normally do. She wanted to really, you know, defeat Sword Eater, dude. Um, uh, Kurado, I think, yeah. And pretty much by, you know, she wants to defeat him. She wants to save her um, father, get her father back and everything, and her the dojo and all that kind of stuff. So I can honestly, I understand why she's doing it, but man, she she went so far to do that. Then all then honestly, she not honestly, she obviously cheated as well by placing traps before the match began. And the thing that was crazy is Iki already knew it, and we see how strong Iki is, not in terms of just power. But just how good of a guy is that good guy Iggy? Seriously, he knew she was gonna cheat and everything. Told the uh, sensei, and oh my gosh, I swear every time, boosh, boosh, how are you alive? So much blood gone, you know? Like what the heck? Moments all the time with that. Um, it was also pretty funny to see Stella, her, you know, her thoughts like, ooh, Iggy, use your itoshiri on me in bed of the night, something like you know, it's like that. I was like, what the heck? Oh, Stella. But yeah, those are just like some side things. Of course, like the main thing was the battle between Iki and Ayase. We do find out about her past and everything. They, you know, they talk about it. It's pretty much, yeah, the father, um, the sword, he fought the sword eater, lost the ability to hold a sword, was unconscious for like two years, lost the dojo. And that's why she's doing all this kind of stuff. That is why she's trying to, you know, be strong. And no one knew about her sword ability, which is pretty dang cheap. That when she slashes somewhere, bing, you know, and creates like a wind slash from that spot. That was pretty dang cheap. That's pretty badass, actually. And then, of course, you know, even though she's cheating, Iki still beats her, even though he doesn't have his ace in the hole. We always see Iki like, yeah, he's badass, but it's all about that ace in the hole that he has, you know? But this one, he was able to beat her without that, plus she was cheating already with all the traps and everything. And he got messed up. Like, like one arm was gone, pretty much. And he still was able to kick ass. Like, holy crap. The music at that part when, like, all of a sudden it's like, ching! And also, like, zoo, 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 perfect vision thing. And just dodging all of it. And then, boom! Like, after image and slashes her and he wins. It was an awesome fight. And that was pretty much the end of the episode. It really showed... I think they really portrayed Ayase in a good way. Like, really, they really did a good job showing her, like... You know how she would do you know anything to protect her you know father and say you know all that kind of stuff yet still showing that she she's it's not her she's still good it's just that she lost her way and everything and you know she got pushed to the edge and anyone would be like that to be honest and that's why Iki understood and he you could see how how good of a friend he is and everything still wants to help her even in the end and yeah that was pretty much the, the episode I can't wait to see the next episodes. Can't wait to see him versus the Sword Eater. That would be a probably a super badass fight. Cause come on, like seriously, Iki gonna take that guy down. And I can't wait to see that. But yeah, overall good episode, good music, um, good just the overall atmosphere and everything. Good. I love the way they portrayed the characters and everything and showed the um, like how strong Iki is even without his ace in the hole. Cause to this point we know he's strong, but that like every time we see him using that and that was what it took for him to win and this time we saw a different side that he didn't need that 
he was still a badass even without it, you know? But, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this Anime Kingdom discussion review. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If there's anything I missed and you want to talk about, comment below as well. And until next time, guys, see ya.